Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Chancellor of Wisconsin International University College, Ghana, I welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, to history making today. Ladies and gentlemen, I say that because Wisconsin has been at the forefront when it comes to private university. Today, we are about to make history not only in Ghana, because what we're about to do transcends Ghana into Africa. I'm sure that details would unfold whilst the program goes on. Ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned early on that he has a solid background in law. Indeed, when it comes to constitutional law, he's done extensive research, public law, Administrative law, this man is a person Ghana would celebrate. Indeed, we are proud and happy that he belongs to no other institution today. And we are proud to call him, ladies and gentlemen, our vice chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, you know if I'd want to carry on, I would go on and on and never stop. But allow me in a humble way, welcome Professor Obim Mareku who is our Vice Chancellor, to officially welcome every one of you to Wisconsin International University College, Ghana. Please do it better for our Vice Chancellor. Sir, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, Mrs. Rebecca Akufuado, First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, I salute you. The Honorable Minister of Health, the Honorable Minister of Education, the Executive Secretary, National Ac Accreditation Board, Registrar, Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana, the Chancellor, Wisconsin International University College, Ghana, Reverend Dr. Paul Finn, the Chairman and members of the Board of Directors, Wisconsin, distinguished guests, friends from the media, Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Chancellor, the Board of Directors, the University Council, and the entire university community, I welcome you all to this brief ceremony to commission our new ultra-modern building complex and to officially launch our state-of-the-art nursing stimulators. I wish to acknowledge, in a very special way, the presence of our special guest of honor, Her Excellency, Mrs. Rebecca Akufuado, First Lady of the Republic of Ghana. We are privileged and honored to have you here, Madam. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, just over 17 years ago, in August, 2000, this university college started with only nine students in a very small building that is still situated at the center of our campus. Today, we can proudly boast of a student population of over 4,000, drawn not only from Ghana, but from 25 other countries in Africa and beyond. The building about to be commissioned is the latest infrastructure development that this university college has undertaken. It has a banking hall and offices on the ground floor. There are additional five floors with two ultra-modern air-conditioned offices and two lecture theaters with capacity to sit up, up to 240 
students. The building is serviced by an elevator, otherwise called lift, and there is a standby generator to ensure a continuous electricity supply. Wisconsin currently has two faculties and five schools, including the School of Nursing. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, today, our main focus will be on the School of Nursing. Launched in May 2016, the school is one of the fastest growing schools at the University College. From just five students at its inception, the school currently has a population of over 500 students. A majority of these students are practicing health professionals who have chosen Wisconsin to advance their career aspirations. Our study options are flexible. We have regular day, that is regular or day students, the evening, weekend streams to accommodate the various shift patterns of our students. In 2017, the School of Nursing was granted accreditation to run a BSc Community Health Nursing Program. Earlier this year, the school received approval to run a BSc Midwifery Program. And all these two are in addition to the existing BSc Nursing Program. All three of our Nursing and Midwifery BSc degree programs are fully accredited by the National Accreditation Board and approved by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana. Wisconsin is one of a handful of tertiary institutions in the country that offer the ACCESS program. This intensive six-week course provides licensed nurse assistant clinical, nurse assistant prevent preventive personnel a pathway through which to enter the BSc nursing, BSc community health nursing, and BSc midwifery programs. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, Wisconsin can proudly and confidently say that its School of Nursing has the most cutting edge nursing skills laboratories in Ghana. The skills lab enables students to gain hands on experience on all aspects of nursing and healthcare. Today, we are honored to have Her Excellency, the First Lady, here to launch the first nursing simulators of their kind in the whole of Africa. Thank you. These simulators, also known as mannequins or dummies, mimic human emotions and responses to stimuli, giving students the opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of the human body and of the effects their interventions have on the health and welfare of a patient. There are three simulators, an expectant female, a male baby, and an adult male. In early March 2018, the chief simulation specialist from our partner university, Concordia University in the USA, came on site at Wisconsin to set up to train students and staff on how the simulators function. In addition to the practical skills gained in the skills lab, students at Wisconsin are trained in entrepreneurship. This opens their eyes to opportunities in the healthcare industry to avoid over-reliance on employment from government. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, as trainers and educators of the future workforce, Wisconsin International University College, Ghana, is committed to exposing our nursing and midwifery students to best practice in healthcare and to producing exceptional healthcare professionals to serve Ghana and the world. 
we wish to appeal to government and all agencies involved in policy making in the healthcare industry and in tertiary education to support initiatives such as has been exhibited by Wisconsin. They can do this by creating an enabling environment that is conducive for institutions such as ours to thrive and by resourcing us where possible so that we can create centers of training excellence which attract students from around the world. In doing so, we as Ghanaians will build a healthcare system and train a healthcare workforce that is the envy of the world and also boost medical tourism as a key to Ghana's development. Your Excellency, distinguished guest, you are all warmly welcome to the commissioning of the Wisconsin Ghana multi-purpose building complex and to the launch of our ultra-modern nursing and midwifery simulators. Thank you for your attention. And as we do say in Ghana, Aiko. Ladies and gentlemen, you can give my Vice Chancellor a big round of applause for touching on key issues. So if I have a clearer understanding, not in any teaching hospital in Ghana, not in any nursing training college anywhere in Ghana. In fact, move beyond Ghana, not in Togo, do they have what we have here at Wisconsin International University College. <laughs> Cutting edge technology for the health service. No wonder we're seeking medical tourism for you at this point. Once again, a round of applause for yourselves. Great is thy faithfulness that we have a mother who responds to the need of the children, so long as Ghana is concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't say much, but with your round of applause, you can help me welcome the First Lady of the Republic, Her Excellency, Mrs. Rebecca Na Okaiko Akufuado. Please, let's do it better for Mama as she comes in. Indeed, great is thy faithfulness. Thank you all. Thank you all very much for the vis this very warm welcome. Please sit. The Executive Secretary, National Accreditation Board, the Registrar, Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana, the Chancellor, Wisconsin International University College Ghana, the Vice Chancellor, the Chairman and members of, th of the Board of Directors of the University College, the Chairman and members of the University College of the University, faculty, staff and students of the University College, MD of ADB, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to join you today to celebrate Wisconsin University and to commission your state of the art nursing simulators. Again, I'm happy to be part of this ceremony because the vision of this institution is in line with my passion for promoting good health care delivery for Ghanaians, especially women and children. As we all know, our government is committed to ensuring all Ghanaians have access to quality, affordable, and available health care. The government views this as the right of every Ghanaian. Of course, this uh, vision is achievable, not only through expanding, equipping, and increasing the number of health facilities, but also through capacity building and increasing the number of health professionals particularly at the primary level of healthcare. A well-trained workforce such as this institution and others like it seek to produce is fundamental to provision of quality healthcare. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted that the facility we are commissioning today will train health personnel who support government's agenda to provide quality healthcare to Ghanaians. 
As citizens of Ghana, we must all support government's efforts to uplift and improve the lives of our people. That is why since its establishment in January 2017, the Rebecca Foundation has supported healthcare delivery, delivery in the country. The foundation has constructed a mother and baby and pediatric intensive care units at the Konfo Anochi Teaching Hospital in Kumasi. We are also constructing a pediatric intensive care unit and contributing to building a hostel for parents of children on cancer treatment at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Additionally, we have carried out medical outreaches and partnered with other charities to provide urgent surgeries to vulnerable Ghanaians. I wish therefore to commend the Chancellor of this University College and the management for their efforts in providing exceptional nursing and midwifery training facilities. I believe that some of you graduates will be working in the facilities built by the Rebecca Foundation. I wish to also applaud this institution for adding entrepreneurship to your training module. This is a step in the right direction. The space and opportunities for health entrepreneurship are vast and limitless, particularly on our continent where health challenges remain a key focus for governments. I therefore urge nursing and midwifery students to be part of the solution to achieving our health goals. These facilities have been procured at great cost. The nursing simulators alone, I understand, cost more than 200,000 US dollars. I implore the nursing and midwifery students to take full advantage of these facilities to enhance their learning skills. Let me say this, healthcare, as the name suggests, is a caring profession, therefore, the profession guess goes beyond possessing outstanding skills and exposure. When people are placed in your care for treatment, they are at their most vulnerable. All the practical skills in the world cannot take the place of the right attitude and a genuine interest in the welfare of your patient. I therefore appeal to students that even as you enhance your knowledge and skills, you should also work on cultivating the right disposition and the correct work ethics now. As a private university, Wisconsin International University College, Ghana, has demonstrated its commitment towards enhancing healthcare delivery in the country. I encourage other health training institutions, both public and private, to also make similar commitments. Together we will, as a country, make progress towards achieving sustainable development goal number three, aimed at attaining good health and well-being for all our citizens. Ayeko, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, can we rise in her honor as she goes back to take her seat? And let's keep the applause coming, please. You can do better. Today, we know our products, when they go into all the prestigious health facilities. Once you mention you are from Wisconsin, you directly get the opportunity. You may take your seats now. Ladies and gentlemen, just by way of announcement, we would also want you to know that we are happy that, and I call her our mother, Her Excellency the First Lady is here. So I would want to call on Mrs. Victoria Chimboanda, who is our head PR and marketing to officially come and say thank you to her and also to the various guests that we have. She has something that she's bringing along. Oh, please, let's do it better for her. She's been very supportive throughout this period, madam. Your Excellency, Mrs. Rebecca Akufo-Addo, First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, the Executive Secretary, National Accreditation Board, the Registrar, Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana, the Chancellor, Wisconsin International University College, Ghana, the Chairman and members of the Board of Directors, the Chairman and members of the University Council, faculty, staff and students, distinguished guests, 
friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. We have been told after viewing our facilities that it is the best kept secret in Accra and probably Ghana and Africa as a whole. It has not been our intention to keep it that way. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, colleagues from the media, we are therefore most grateful for your role you have played today in helping us amplify our voice and get the secret out. From nine students in 2000 to over 4,000 students from over 20 countries on the African continent, I believe one can safely say that Wisconsin's is a success story. And that it is purely made in Ghana is something to even be prouder of. We share in His Excellency President Nana Kufo Addo's vision of a narrative of ascendancy, not one of dependency. It is now time for nations to come to our light and kings to come to the light of our shining. I wish to say a special thanks to ADB and Unibank for their support throughout the years and to Access Bank and Cal Bank who have recently joined us to share in our vision. We wish to also appreciate the efforts of Mrs. Obechevi Lamte as well as the team from the First Lady's Office for their guidance and direction towards the planning of this program. <laughs> to my colleague, uh, the MC, thank you for e expertly guiding us through the events of the day and we know that you'll con continue to do so. Now, without further ado, I wish to call upon the Vice, uh, to the, call upon the Chancellor, sorry, to present on behalf of the entire university community a token of our appreciation to Her Excellency, the First Lady. Yes, yes. before he, she, he comes forward, we also have the, cit the citation which we shall read. Which we shall read. And it says, you have dedicated your time as the First Lady of the Republic of Ghana to promoting the welfare of women and children. As Executive Director of the Rebecca Foundation, you have been phenomenal in spearheading projects such as building a mother and baby and pa pediatric intensive units at the Comfo Anoche Hospital. You are in the process of building a pre pediatric intensive care unit and supporting the construction of a hostel for parents of children on cancer treatment at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Your advocacy in the area of health has seen you embark on sustained campaigns to improve maternal and child health care promote exclusive breastfeeding among new mothers, and reduce malaria and malnutrition in priority populations. You've also advocated for the elimination of mother-to-child transmission of HIV, and supported Ghanaians from across the country to undergo urgent uh, medical interventions. Your support in uplifting the economic status of women and in improving the learning outcomes of children is laudable. For these and many other inspiring initiatives you are championing, which have put, the smi put smiles on the faces of Ghanaians and secured a better future for our nation, Wisconsin International University College, Ghana, is proud to honor you this day. Thank you very much, Victoria, ladies and gentlemen. By way of a quick announcement, Her Excellency the First Lady, together with the high table, would immediately move to cut the tip and inspect uh, the lab and the similes, after which everyone can do so also.